Loot Studios. It's $15 in August with some heroes and some villains, plus some stuff to trip over and some NPCs to rescue and some posts. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is August, and once again, Loot Studios has knocked it out of the friggin' park. This month, they have toll collectors. It's a bunch of bandits. They're hanging out in the woods. They're going to kick your heroes' asses. What do we got this month? We got four busts. There's uh, three heroes. There's 14 bad guys. We've got 75 millimeter size. If you just want to paint them and put them on display, there's 32 millimeter size with a bunch of really cool little pieces. I don't know if you can really use them all in a game. Why you would, but you got a little fire thing and a grinding. It'd be great for dioramas and painting. They also got these really badass maps. Eh, they're not quite badass, quite frankly. It's a map. It's, it's got a, you know, it's, it's cartoony. Let's, let's be honest. It's cartoony. The artwork's not as good as all the other really lifelike artwork, but it's something they're learning, they're growing, they're trying. But it's one inch, and it's, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The 10 by 14 map. I printed this up at Staples for like two bucks. It's great. It's great that they're trying. The map isn't actually that great. But then they also got a little booklet of stuff. It's a booklet of crazy shit. It's like small villages and small bandits, cities and the thieves guild. No roof above, no law around. I don't know what the fuck any of that really means. They're trying to convince you if you want to become a thief or a bandit, then this is how you would go about it, which is a little strange. But it's full of just all of the stat blocks and a little, a little fun little quote about the villain. They don't have them for the heroes, which I don't see why they wouldn't have just done a little more effort. But it looks good. It looks good. It's nice if you, uh, if you need a little something like that. You get the idea. This was like 15 bucks. I printed it up at Staples again, but it came with a nice little cover. And, you know, it's good. You can throw it around. Can, it's all in one place. I've got questions. Every time I look at a bundle online, I see an ad, I ask myself, how much is that going to cost to actually print all of that? With this, it's going to take about three liters. So depending on what you use, you can do the math. How easy are the supports to take off? They're beautiful. They are pieces of art. There's actually a whole team of people that Loot uses to put these supports on. And you can tell that they know what they're doing. You can just take your finger and you just brush it off and they fall away. All of these miniatures, no problems. You just plug it in, you print it, it's done. Piece of cake. How easy is it to assemble? Also super friggin' easy. I don't know what it's called. Whenever you, you sort of slice up a model and you put a little square, like a key or something, it's like a big chunky cube, but then on the other side you have the negative and they just, they just link together like a puzzle. They do that and it's super helpful and it makes it super easy. Like these big old horse people. He's got a leg, the horse legs attach to the base easy, the shoulder attaches right into his shoulder socket, and the horse itself, the front half just snaps right in with the back half right in underneath the saddle. It's beautifully placed. I don't know how they do it, but they do it, and it's awesome. It takes the guesswork out. Even the smaller people, on the base, there's an imprint of the foot. There's like a, a foot mark, and you know, oh, that's exactly where the feet need to go. I'll just put a little glue there. Boom, moving on. It's great. It increases, you know, the, the surface area for your, for your glue to actually stick on there. Is this shit going to break on me? Maybe. Some of these little people, this little guy, this little crossbow guy, he's, he's probably going to break. His little arrows, they're definitely going to snap off at some point. Same thing with the, the little Donatello guy. Our little Donatello uh, turtle dude with the staff. He's got arrows stuck out of his back, which are a beautiful touch. Although I wonder, like, why didn't he take the time to just remove them? Those arrows are not going to last. Uh, this big dude, he might be my favorite. Look at these, more little arrows. But because everything's life size, that means they're really small because they're arrows. He's got an arrow shooting out his back. It didn't make it, sorry. But most of it's pretty solid. Most of the 75, it's big, you know, you can sort of touch it and it's going to be good. But if you're going to be using these in like an actual game, they're probably not going to last some random dice rolling into them. Unless you want to use that Amerilabs as a TKD, 
stuff. Like it's, it's expensive. It's like $90 a liter. But that's what you got to do. So if you just want to put them on the wall, hang them, bookshelf, whatever, they'll be good to go. Most importantly, big question, big question, big question. I know you're all wondering, can I use them in a game of Hero Quest? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Check this out. Look at that. Yes. The bases are 25 millimeter. They fit within, you know, the scale of a, of a one, of a one square thingamajig. So yeah, do they fit really great with Hero Quest? Yeah, they do. I want to have my barbarian dude fight a bad jock blood letter. You goddamn right I do. Now these other people, this is from an earlier one. I just spray painted him pretty much the same color, and now he looks like a hero. But this is um. This is an orc from something early, and I just spray painted him kind of green. He's kind of, you know, orangey. They look fantastic. They fit well. That's the thing. I can use them. I can actually use them. Is it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. It's 15 bucks. Lootstudios.com. There's a hyphen in there. Check it out. I think you'll be really, really happy.